Today, we will create an IOS calculator using React and TypeScript. This is how our calculator is going to look like. Let's jump into the coding part and create this IOS calculator real quick. First, open Visual Studio Code or any other IDE you prefer. We will use Vite to install our React app. Open your terminal on VS Code and run command. npm create Vite at at latest. Then hit the enter key. You can now name your project iOS Calculator. Press enter. Then scroll with arrow key to react and press enter. Then press enter on TypeScript. Now you need to change directory to your project, so cd iOS calculator. Once you are in the project, you will have to run the command npm install to install all the dependencies. Once everything is installed, you can now run the app using npm run dev. Then typo and press enter your default app will open in Chrome and will look like this. Now, open your project's root directory on the side of VS Code and delete the defaults. Go to SRC folder and first delete app.css file. Then delete the index.css file. After that we can remove the imports, so go to the main.tsx file and remove the import of index.css and remove the import of app.css from it. Now we can remove all the default extra code from app.tsx file. So remove the use state first and then imports. At last remove all the divs and keep the fragments only. Let's run the app again and see how it looks like at the moment. So there it is, it's all blank now, we can start creating our iOS calculator. Okay, so now, we will create our first custom component. Go to src directory and create a new file here. Name it calculator.tsx. I will use a React snippet called RAFCE which gives you a React component with arrow function. Then we will import use state from React. Now we declare a use state variable, which takes string as a type and an empty string by default. Then we need a function to handle. Click events on our calculator's buttons. Now we need one more function to clear the input fields. All clear function. One last function to do all the calculations. This function will be responsible for all the calculations we do inside our calculator. Once we have got all the functions, we can now start creating the UI for our calculator. First we give this div a class name of container. Then we create another div inside container div with the class name of Calculator. Inside Calculator div, we create another div and give it a class name of Display and render the useState variable input inside it. 
Now we need to create another div with the class name of buttons. Inside this div, we can start creating our buttons. First we create an button with no properties. Then we create all clear button and pass it the function handle clear. Then we create our second button for remainders and pass it the handle button click function with a parameter of. Copy the button above down and change the parameter of the function to divide sign. Remember every last button in each row will have a class name of operator to have a different color property. Now we can copy these button down and create another for buttons 9, 8, 7 and a multiply button. Change the parameter of function based on the property of the button. So if button number is 9, then the parameter of the handle click event will be 9. Now we can copy these for buttons twice and change them accordingly. For the bottom row, we need another div with a class name of bottom. Create a button inside it and give it a class name of zero. Pass it the handle click button function with parameter zero. Second button inside this div will be the calculating button or equal button with the function to do all the calculations. This will have a class name of operator as well. Now the last button with the class name of operator and handle click function with dot. So this is a decimal button. Now that we have completed our component, we can render it inside of our app.tsx. After that our component is completed, let's have a look in our app and see if the calculator is working. So our calculator is working fine, but we need to style our app. So let's go ahead and create the CSS file. Inside our CSS file first, we declare global styles for body. Then we need to style our container class. Now let's style calculator class. And here is the style for our display class, which is the user input inside the calculator. Last, we can style our buttons. And then, the last class bottom can take its CSS. Let's import the CSS file inside our calculator.tsx component. Let's have a look at our iOS calculator. So there it is. This is how we can create a simple iOS calculator in React with minimal TypeScript. I hope you like this quick tutorial. For more upcoming projects, please hit subscribe and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, TSX Pert.